Uh, it was brain damage. Come on. No, fuck, it's the wrong fucking backtrack. Time? I thought it was this one. Not sure it's not.
Look at Tragically hit. Well, it was sounded good what you were saying. Tragically hit. They didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's so fine. This song. We, we saw the cat yeah. look. <laughs> oh, he must be so here. We're, we're like, must be here. <laughs> so the neighbors don't mind. Uh, mm. uh, well, we're not really singing that loud, are we? No. Can you hear us in the street when you were walking up? Uh, not really, I guess. Yeah, we told the landlord. No, it was, it was so more like just when I got here that I could, right? Well, 
she she likes beer, and I don't mind honey. Yeah. Yeah. So the beer we really like, you can only get in like Alberta. So. Yeah. It's uh, it's. Redding Red Elk or something that's from. Redding. Red Redding Elk. Red something. Like that. Yeah. We had it from from Canmore. Canmore last summer. We were like, oh, this is really good. But it was amazing. It. I, I don't like beer for much. And that, that was just for amazing red, beer. Um, yeah. Amber. It was an amber. It was all so good. So we were at the liquor store today. We are asking the, the girl, can you order it? And? Uh, she, she said, said she'd, she'd get try. back to us. Yeah. Because yeah. otherwise, it's we got to drive to Alberta to get it. No more rescue missions uh, up on the horizon? Uh, oh. No. Canmore. Eh? That's a pretty neat place, eh? It was. Not very big, but it's. I, I like the location. Mm. No, I don't think we we didn't go through there, did we? Yeah, we did. Canmore? We went right through Canmore, yeah. Yeah, it probably did. On the highway. We went to Calgary. Oh. No, we didn't go to Calgary. No, we didn't go through Calgary. We, uh, we, we went just down went to Banff and then we went back to Lake Louise and we took the, the yeah. highway. So it's like, we, but we also went down to Jasper. We went on the highway down to Jasper. I thought we went through Canmore, but maybe I don't know. I thought it was one of the. Like, you go through Glacier National Park, and then you go through Canmore. Okay, no, and then that's on the way to Drumheller, Calgary. No, nope. yeah. I don't think we went that we far south. We didn't want to go that far south. I think further south yeah, than Banff. I think Banff is the farthest south. And then we go up to Lake Louise and yeah. up to Jasper. Yeah. Something like that. Mm. So we're we're gonna do some some cake. You want some? You were waiting for me for the cake? Oh, we were we were waiting. <laughs> yeah, of course we were. No, I, I'm happy to. Uh, there you go. I'll sing Happy Birthday. You got me singing. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We don't have to sing Happy Birthday. We can happy just bring birthday. the cake out. Like, she's a jolly good fellow. Oh, God. No, no, no. <laughs> no. We are over. You know, this is a 31 now. So I know. We're I'm up over there. the first hill. <laughs> uh, oh no! We're still going. Up. It's still going. Uh, uh, Ways to go yet before 40. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Drew's closer to 50. That's all fine with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm way closer to 50 than him, so. I was like, my, uh, my one ex-boyfriend turned 50 this year. Wow. I was like, that's not good. Oh, crap. <laughs> that's not bad. It's good. No, I, I like all, like some, quite a few different kinds of beer. Mm -hmm. Lots of times I'll order stout or... Right. Whatever, right? Um, some of the standardized brands, like I don't care for Extra Old Stock or Wilson right. Canadian. Um, you know, but they're just, you mm -hmm. know, they're probably in this range of beer, you know, the standard right. Canadian mm -hmm. beer. <laughs> they got used to microbrews down in the States, and of it's course well. they can't get them up here. Well, everyone down there's a, they either, if they don't like, you know, Rainier, Olympia, Bush, you know, Ice House, all the standard. Budweiser. Yeah. I like Budweiser. And and that stuff. Then they like, all like microbrews. So there's a lot of beer smokes. Now, do the um, microbreweries down there crank up the alcohol content? Uh, some of them do. Yeah. Some of them are like eight, ten percent. Yeah. Well, I mean, my understanding is most American beers two and a half. And then mm -hmm. most Canadian is five. Yeah. That's yeah, what but I was there's thinking. there's some that I know that are eight and yeah. ten. Actually, one of my ex girlfriends, uh, her, I think it was her grandpa. He uh, he actually had awards for his homemade beer. Cool. <laughs> Should have stuck with her maybe. Eh? <laughs> 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 I don't know, beer gut up to there. But. Ah. Did you lose something, honey? His, his cigarette uh, lighter. Yeah, you know. He's... Oh, yeah. I don't know what he did. We had it when we lit the barbecue. So, so I'm walking down the driveway. I'm yeah. walking up to the corner, and I'm walking down the driveway. Going, Holy crap! This is some powerful weed going on. We're talking. Oh yeah, the skunk weed. Don't forget the skunk part. My goodness. It's gotta be from over there. It smelled like it was. Christmas, <laughs> <laughs> Skunk weed's better than poo. It smelled like poo a few days ago. Oh, did it? Yeah. It oh, like, yeah. It was just horrible. thought it was coming from there because they have a dog. It was actually coming from that one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the fan, the fan, fan blew him up for you. <laughs> but she has three boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no. She has one who makes up for like three. Blow! Blow! <laughs> blow! <laughs> there, 
there. I blew. Well, that this way. <laughs> Never takes long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, oh. Blow jobs as you get older. Oh, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Can we do something else? Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. Now I want to go to sleep. Yeah, it's like, Fuck. my jaw hurts. <laughs> Sing very well. I sing off key, so. Yeah. And he was like, "Yeah, yeah, sing with me." And I'm going, "No, I'll make you sing really. I'll make you sound bad." I said, "I don't care." Yeah, That's but true. I sound bad already. No, you don't. <sighs> sound better than us. Yeah, put it that way. So, so we can e you can either we can either go for the fishing line. I sound bad already. Or we can just say. <laughs> no, I'm I'm a great singer. I know it. I know you don't. Know. <laughs> just the way you said that, right? Well, we were we were trying to sing oh, some stuff awesome. that we that we thought we could sing, part. and we're we're both just doing horrible. <laughs> oh yeah, it was it was, it was uh, rather funny. Pretty good, actually. And halfway through, we're like, oh my god, we're, we're terrible at this. <clears throat> like I told Drew before, the uh, all I know is every time I sing anything, anywhere little blurb, you know, mm -hmm. I always get the comment within 10 seconds to not give up my name drop. Yeah. Always. Never, yeah, without fail. It doesn't matter whether they like me or not. I know. I have the same problem. Of course, the first... Oh, you got blueberries in the middle, too? You guy. Great work. So I don't want a piece. No? Nope. No. Okay. It's Bavarian cream in the middle. Super. I'm not saying I won't have one. I'm not promising anything here. Okay. Just I can give you a small sliver. No, no, no reason. Okay. I ate a big lunch at 1.30. Didn't even know I was starving until I finally finished what I was doing on this one huge document. This guy's a $50,000 cash bail. <clears throat> yeah. And uh, mm. the files were all totally messed up, and I'm just fixing them up and figuring it out. And then I'm having the justice of the peace, and my new coworker arguing with me about what you're, how you're supposed to do it. Mm. Like, well, no, I've been doing it this way ever since I've been here. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I think you can. So they had to look up the rules on how it's mm -hmm. done to find out, oh yeah, oh, sorry. Whoops. <laughs> a little dry. It is a little dry. You should have the it. cream hmm? slather on it. You might have already mixed it. <clears throat> can you ever mix it? You can. Oh. And or I probably left it in a little bit longer. Um, that could have been too. Yeah. number of times. It still tastes good. See, that's the other reason I was waiting, right? I'll take a really, really little piece. <laughs> You're such a rat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm actually pretty full. A bit, yeah. And then, of course, I had a big supper, right? Yeah. And I just, just finished eating and come on down. So, when you're, if you're seeing in the bar, the <laughs> or whatever. Mm -hmm. You do the same thing where you sing normally, and then when you're going to belt it out, you move the mic away. Oh yeah. Or else you blast the house down. Exactly. Does everybody do that or? No. <laughs> no, it's my job to turn the mic down. Oh, to can... <laughs> Some people you probably don't have to. Some people you are always ready. Mm -hmm. Well. That depends on the singer. Of course. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it, being a good host, I, I adjust the song all the time. Mm -hmm. Generally. I mean, if it's a singer that I know and I know where their levels are, I just sort of leave and I mean, go off and talk to people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Tastes good. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, it's still maintained, you should just put more Bavarian cream on. <laughs> well, I'll we'll fix her up. Yeah. I stuffed it in the oven too long. It probably only take, would have taken 15 minutes. I put it in for 22. Yeah. <clears throat> 15 minutes would have made it nice and moist. Okay, I'll remember next time. Don't worry, I'll help you eat some before I go. <laughs> so are you been thinking of going back to the busking thing as it warms up a little later? Nope. Tried that, enough of that? Um, that sucked. <laughs> kind of, yeah. But, um, not unless I'm... Unless he goes as Neil Diamond. <laughs> um, I might go as Neil Diamond or something yeah. like that, but... If it's warm out, that would be nasty mm -hmm. with the wig, right? Yeah, huge. Bell's license good till January, so he's got plenty of time. <clears throat> yeah. I don't know. I mean, in my head it looked different. And uh, when I went down there and I went, okay, well, when I was scared shitless when I went down there, I'd do it. And I said, screw it, I'll just do it. Mm -hmm. And I went, you know, if one person passing by would have, you know, smiled or no, something. Right? <laughs> and it was like, Nah, they're not interested. So I think that uh, unless you've got something that goes, wow, that's unusual, right? Then you're just not even bothering. Mm -hmm. you know? Like I said, Neil Diamond. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Neil Diamond would work actually. If I got together with some guy down there playing the guitar, and me with my Neil Diamond stuff on, I'd probably get tons of the money and people. And it's just like, you know what? I don't really need it. It was it was kind of one of those things that I wanted to try anyway, mm -hmm. just to see what it was like. I figured it might be fun, and unless I'm going down there just for fun, yeah, it's not. Mm -hmm. No expectations or yeah. hopes. Exactly. Oh, so you have to open your birthday gifts. Mm -hmm. His first one. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. You know, like, I tried. I was sure you needed a toaster. Or, you know... Something. Shoe rack or something. I would have bought you that instead. Well, I can't have a gun rack in Canada. <laughs> Lots of people have gun racks. Yeah. They just don't have guns for them. <sighs> Lots of people do. They just don't live in Victoria. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't get my guns across the border. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Well, the, um, of course, the laws have changed. What? Guns, right? Like, I mean, my, my father in law and them, I mean, they always live on the ranch. Yeah. And they would have the gun rack full. Yeah. Right. And they're just there. Remember, like, one time, like, I would, I, before I, you know, took any training on guns, mm -hmm. I never, oh, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. In the front. Wow, they fit four tall mochas in this thing. Talk about from concentrate. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> Put freeze dried for <laughs> Exactly, just add water. <laughs> Wood and water. As long as it's not Sanka. <laughs> yeah. This is like the most expensive gift. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. <laughs> so Ted, we got it at the dentist. I know. <laughs> we 
we went and did a cleaning. I guess I should thank Yarka for that. Yeah, <laughs> we went and did a cleaning, and, and uh, Yarka, because I'd done some computer work for them and stuff like that, and she said, oh yeah, your cleaning will be free, it's no problem. Nice. We get there, um, and apparently that just meant either one cleaning or something. Anyway, uh, so I now owe them $200. They said total for both of us it was, was three hundred, and then they gave me a hundred bucks off. Right. Uh, okay. Okay. I mean, he 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 had actually owed me from before, you know, and now I doing I was doing more work for him. I was just like, okay, well, whatever. And she gave us two pens. So I said I said to her, this this is the most special gift ever. This is a hundred dollar designer pen. She gave us two pens. <laughs> you can thank me later. <laughs> See what I have to live with. <laughs> the the card's twenty bucks. Okay. That'll buy four. Yeah. Four and some change. Because with the soy they're they're like four and a half. Wow, they can fit four tall monkeys. That's four fifty per one. Four fifty four. No, I was saying it was like when I first met her parents. Right. I wouldn't wouldn't even dream of touching the guns. Mm -hmm. I didn't know much about them. And they're dangerous. Yes. And so then I took a bunch of training and that thing did that. Mm -hmm. So I then went up there and he had a he had like a 444 bar button, and a couple of ones shark gun, and then a 22 like a lever yeah, action sure. western yeah. style with yeah. a right. scope. Right. Right. Beautiful little thing to shoot, holds like 85 rounds, you know. Yeah. <laughs> nice. And so I pick it up, and of course, the first thing you do, I know I've got as you clear the chamber, right? Pwing! Oh, it goes a live round. <laughs> <laughs> that's thing's cocked. It's just sitting in the rack, ready for the coyote coming out of the bush. Or I don't know, I'm going, that's legal stuff. <laughs> Yeah, I went to get my give my gun to my dad to hold for me because I've got a three eighty pistol. Yeah. <laughs> so I take the clip out and he's he's watching me do this. I got because he he bought me a shoulder holster holster yeah. that I never I only use to hold the clips and stuff and to hold the gun. <laughs> here's one clip. Here's the other. There's the life. <laughs> Can tell I live by myself for a while. Yeah. Same thing, eh? Yeah. Yeah. He was like, now, honey, you can, you can pull it back, and you can hit this lever, and then all you have to do is lift the lever, and it's ready to go. <laughs> this is like when I first got it. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Now I'm going to be sleeping with my hand in my drawer, underneath, <laughs> touching my gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's odd. <laughs> you know, when it was legal to have guns... Yeah, that was my dad's biggest argument for coming up here. You know you can't take your gun. And well. You know it'll be waiting for me when I come visit, whatever that may be. Did you practice much with it? I haven't for oh, a few years. I think we went out in 2006. Oh. Went out because I usually sight on the guns every year. Because I haven't hunted in years. I don't always go with them. And uh, I remember we went out, I think it was 2006. I tried last time I shot it. And you don't hunt with that, right? No, no. That's just I hunted itself. with the, uh, it was go deer hunting, so I hunted with a 30 out 6. You hunted with a 30 out 6. Mm -hmm. It was one of my grandpa's old guns. Hmm. You realize that that's way lots of, lots of food for deer, right? Yeah. I know. <laughs> a lot of people I know hunt with 30 out 6. It's true. It's 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 a hugely great all-round caliber. Yeah, it does. Uh, well, it depends on the gun too, because well, mine kicked. Still, well, had a pretty good kick, but my grandpa's thirty out six military. That one will actually bruise you. It kicks so well. hard. All the guys are like, "Wow, that's gonna knock you over." No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Might make me sore tomorrow, but it's, yeah, not, yeah. it's not gonna knock me down. See, I had a three hundred eight Winchester, Ooh. and uh, that was my first high power. My buddy had a 30 out 6 and uh, the 308 is just fun to shoot. 30 out 6 is okay. It's probably just a standard, you know, Winchester Model 70 or something, right? Yeah. It's, uh, 
But I mean, it was it was okay, but it wasn't as nice as shit. Right. Uh, then I had to break down and buy a seven in my Remington Mag. Mm. Now it's really not as much fun to shoot now. <laughs> what did I do that for? Not fun to shoot now. No, I have to. It's not as fun to shoot as my 308. Ah. A lot more. Wow. So we'd go out and we'd shoot Noise. my 380, and my dad had my MM, which I didn't realize went back over the grip. Yeah. So I caught my hand the first time I shot it. I've done that too. And then he has a 350. Feels good, eh? Oh. I'm just like, ow! Yeah. What'd you do? Your freaking gun got me. Then he had a 357. I don't even think it's a semi automatic. This a revolver? Six, or? six shooter, yeah. Yeah, revolver, yeah. And he replaced the grips on it, and the barrel's like this long. Yeah. Oh, nice gun. Yeah. That thing's sweet. Yeah, of course, I did that, you know, you think you see the cops in the movies, and then holding it like, you know, this Oh, yeah. And, and, then, yeah. and then it's got the big slide action. Of yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 God. <laughs> Bad idea. I know. And mine was only a 22 that I did that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 9 mm was pretty cool. Yeah. It hurt. And that's when I discovered, like, we used to, there was an indoor range at, uh, the, near Chilliwack, mm -hmm. an army base there. And uh, indoor range, and you could just go pay a couple bucks or whatever. And, you, and they had target rifles mm -hmm. uh, with peep sights, and I used those right. lots of times. Like it went a few times. Mm -hmm. And then buddy's going, "Oh, they got these pistols. They're gonna try, you know, they're gonna do those too." And it's like, "Oh, that felt good." Mm -hmm. And then I discovered that I couldn't hit that wall with a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but it's impossible to hit anything with compared to a rifle. Right. So, I don't find it quite as much fun. Yeah, I never got any guns. I had a 22 little uh, pull notch. Yeah, the classic. Yeah. Yep. And those uh, are the standard, every kid has one. Yep. Totally normal. It. My buddy had one of those. That's exactly what he had, too. Single shot. Yep. I can't remember what they called. I don't know, I shot a rabbit with it and uh, grabs. That was it. That was enough hunting for me. I was done. <laughs> I didn't really like killing shit. Well, there's a whole different thing from shooting targets to shooting animals. Right? Well, I never did shoot targets. Yeah. I just went in and shoot animals. So it's like. You jump right in with both feet, eh? Well, the, my, gra my grandpa taught me how to. That was, took me out of time. Yeah. You know, I mean, we went, we did, we went and did a little bit of target practice. I was doing that in hand, Slight. No. Uh, there was, there was a, by the dump, there was a big bunch of sand hills that yeah. were firing to. Yeah, standard. Yep. And, uh, no, we went, we went out there for like, I don't know, a couple hours. And, okay, I got it. That was hard. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, perfect. No. Oh, it pulls to the left. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's, <right. laughs> that's it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go kill a bunny. It screamed. I know. I nice. can't stand bunnies. It's, it's like, uh, it's like okay, I went out one more time. I got a grouse. I'm done. Grouse are good. Grouse are really good. I shoot grouse every day. That would be good. I shot its head off. That's the way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Stand on the wings, both feet. I don't know. Really I didn't, well, I didn't good. stand on the head, pull the feet. I didn't do that. I shot the head off. Yeah, after you shoot the head off, <laughs> spread the wings like stand on them, and then you pull on the feet. <laughs> you never done that? No. It's the they, only way to clean them. I don't it just know. pulls right through, and then you just have the breast. Hmm. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. I do that right Most away. People, my mom never complained about when dad would bring home birds. Yeah. And Tell that everyone. Yeah. Lots of girls chow me. Oh, grass is good. Grass is good. Pheasant's even better. I haven't tried pheasant. Oh, pheasant's good. Yellows. Grouse, pheasant, quail. Quail's not bad. California quail? or They're the ones with the little... They're actually, I don't even know... I don't even know why they're a game bird. They seem so small. They are small. They're, they're like... Uh, they're, a little bit, they're a little bit bigger than a game hen. Yeah. But... 
These, and these ones, well, that's what they would call them here, right? Mm -hmm. And they've got little black things that comes up like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Quiet. That's a big dead side you take the shooting near the down Cool. Or maybe. <laughs> I'm not. I, I'll go. I'll go target you. Anyway. That's what we're yeah. going to do. Go target you. Oh yeah. Well, it's so funny. Chuck our partridges. We have Chuck our partridges in in BC as well. And uh, you read them up. They're like an Indian. It's in India, Bieber. But the uh, only place you really find them is around like Ashcroft and Kamloops, where it's you know, semi-arid desert. Mm -hmm. First time I saw them was walking along in my runners. <clears throat> oh, what's that? They have ground cactus growing in Ashcroft. Wow. Like the low, you know, yeah, yeah. low stuff like this. Because, oh, I'm going to get that stuck out of my shit. <laughs> yeah, nice. Pretty cool camo, those things. Like, you, you're looking, and you also just see movement. Next thing you know, there's like six of them or eight of them there, right? Because you don't blend in so well with that kind of gray, tan background. I don't think I shot any of them. Hunting for game, you know. Mm -hmm. Look, my father loved the little things are actually pretty good. I went out shooting. I went out hunting for deer with uh, Dean Stewart once. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't see anything. Yeah. We'd be out on these logging roads, which I don't think exist anymore because they had a really bad flood a few years ago, and up on logging uh, warehouse property. My cousin's old. Work in the woods, so we're mm -hmm. on all these logging roads. Mm -hmm. We'd be up there looking over a hillside, and my one cousin comes up, Oh, there's a deer down there. It's like, Oh, well, yeah. Get yeah. out, we get out the big spot and scope. But Where do you look? Deer. Where? It looks like a stump. <laughs> this is exactly the same place where Chuck our partridges were. Those big flat plateaus or benches, and that's where they're growing all their. Eat mm -hmm. and stuff for the cows. It's basically a cattle ranching right. there, right? And then it goes along and it has this big eroded dirt cliffs, and they'll go out and like like this, right? Mm -hmm. And same thing. You can go out and you can look down and you look and look and look and you like you say, if someone else will put this deer right there. Look and you look and you look, and all of a sudden it's like it's like you can see it. It, it, it appears. And it's a big <laughs> mule deer, right? And they got the big ears. And look at up right here, right? What do you? You know, we want to eat you. Once you once you get used to seeing them, yeah, yeah, you kind of you know you get you can differentiate with your eyes. Yeah, yeah. your brain differentiates. Oh, my dad used to get frustrated because there's a deer right there. We've got your gun pointed at it. Look through the scope. Could never see it. Well, I didn't realize till I was twenty four. I was looking at the scope wrong. <laughs> I wasn't getting close enough. Oh, to the, well, I wasn't getting yeah, close. So enough. I was afraid if I shot. Sight. It hit me in the face. <laughs> Give me the black eye, the yeah. classic. So, and that was the thing. I, I finally, we were target shooting one time and I got really close. I'm like, oh, duh. I can see. I can see it now. <laughs> of course, Dad thought that was so funny. I had to tell everybody he knew. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My uncle, uh, great uncle, he owned, uh, well, he was, he actually lived right on the Rockies. Like, so it would be north of Canmore in a place called Hinton. Yeah. And, uh... I've been to Hinton. Yeah, he's done, did tons of hunting, right? Like, killed everything, shot everything. <laughs> Just, you know, grizz, you, you name it, right? And when he moved down here, he ended up opening up a gun, gun shop in his house. Mm -hmm. And that's where we, most of the family goes to buy their firearms, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And then we just ask him, what do you, what do you recommend, right? Right. And, and he usually recommended... A 270. That's not bad. Um, unless he was really, he said, unless he was in really heavy grizzly country, then he would go for the 7mm. Mm -hmm. Remington, right? Right. Okay. But basically that was, and, and if you've shot one, they're much nicer to shoot than they, the 30 yeah. Right? yeah, my dad hunts with a 270. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. his, the problem was his gun was so much bigger, I couldn't. It's too heavy. Could, I awesome. just couldn't manage it, it was too long, so, yeah. and mine was actually a shorter, shorter barrel, uh -huh. and shorter, yeah. shorter stock, so it was just like, really right. easy. 
Which, of course, probably doesn't help with the recoil. It really wasn't that bad. Like I said, the military gun had a hell of a big, bigger kick than mine. Now, the military one wasn't one of the grand semi-autos, was it? No, I don't Is it one of that fired the clip up when it was done? Ding! <laughs> No, no. I'm sure you probably. It was. It was just like a regular another thirty out six, except it had the peep sight, and then it had yeah. the the really long one for the thousand yards. Yeah. <clears throat> Boy, it kicks like a horse. <laughs> Same thing, you know, I'm trying to shoot at this target. I don't know. I don't know if it's as far away as the wall. I think you can hit that sucker. No way. Really? That's funny. Well, yeah, just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but. It's probably because when it kicks, it kicks up like this. Well, it does. It should move it slightly on the kick, right? But, just give me a rifle. I'll hit it. <laughs> it's all good. Keep your handguns. <laughs> No, I mean, the, the most that I ever did shooting-wise was paintball. I was good at that, though. We had, um, when, when we first started paint, paintballing, we would have single action, just a single shot, right? It's probably about this long. Mm -hmm. And you had a, a cock, right? So you'd cock it and it would load the ball in. Okay. And then you'd shoot. And... I mean, I, how, how many balls would it hold? It would hold uh, about 30. Right. Because uh, it had a little bucket that hung off at the top. Okay. So you, you could run around with this thing. And it was really light because it was under the compressed air cylinders. Right. And you would get, with one compressed air cylinder, probably about 20 or 30 shots. Like the, you would go through the... Okay. The, the, and so, I mean, basically, you, you did it sparingly. So when we first got into it, that's what we were using. And it was an indoor court. And I was really good with it. Like, we, when we were going teams, they would pick somebody in the team to go shoot at a target. And they would always pick me. Because I can shoot down here and hit the target. Right? Hit the center of the target. Because I know where my gun is, right? Mm -hmm. I just know how to shoot it. And uh, so, I mean, that we had a hoop. It was a great time. Um, it started off with just some, a buddy of mine got me into it, and then we got a whole bunch of other people that we knew. Mm. And it ended up that we would take like 30 guys and go out. Right? We'd invite a whole bunch of people, the 30 guys would go out, would have just an absolute fun time. And there was four or five of us that were really good. Um, and then we would go to Red Robin afterwards, and we'd all order drinks and some people would order food and we'd all talk about the shots that we got and who shot us and mm -hmm. how, what a great shot that guy got me, big mm -hmm. face shot kind of thing. And uh, it just got so fun and then the the t our top five or six guys from us, they asked us to form a team because they were doing a tournament. And so we got the, our top six guys and they actually ranked us at the top of the tournament. Which everybody was grumbling about, which was, was silly. Um, and we went up against everybody we went up against, we just absolutely wiped away. And we did it like legally, no problem. Well, we didn't have, we, we had just started doing semi automatic guns, right? We went out and bought some because we were going to a tournament, mm -hmm. get semi automatic with the big cylinders so that, that we didn't have to change our cylinders all the time. Okay. Um, and we could lay down a little bit more paint, but we still were playing like we had the single shots, right? We wouldn't be bah, 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 right? We'd just, you know, we'd aim and, and do our stuff. And uh, so we were kicking ass, but then they had um, a team that was an outdoor team that had came in. And they had walkie-talkies. They had, <laughs> they had, uh, they had semi-automatic guns. They cheated. They, they pumped up their, their rifles so that they could shoot farther. Oh. Right? Because, well, you'd have to get tested, right? Mm -hmm. And you couldn't go over 320 PS, or... Uh, FPS. FPS, yeah. And, uh, and so, they would, you know, they'd get out and they'd test it, and okay. Then they'd get their little thing and they'd turn it up. Right? So they could fire fire. 
Uh, and of course, it, there was one guy that got hit, bruised this big, right? He just cranked it right up. So if you get hit close range, you know, right? So we were, we were pl we played against them. They were called the paint pushers, and they had the microphones on. They weren't supposed to talk to each other, but they would go in the, if they got hit when somebody was in the neutral area. They'd tell everybody where everybody was because you could see around the court. Right? They're telling everybody where we were. They were wiping paint off. No, I didn't get hit. I didn't get hit. Right? No hit. No hit. Paycheck. You, know, they, you can see them wiping off. No, no hit. Right? Uh, we quit. It's like they 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 played against us, and it's just like this isn't playing. You know, this is just, they have to win. Mm -hmm. No, so win. <laughs> no, yeah. we were in it for fun, and we were good, yeah. and that was what, you know, got us there. We just, we all, all of us agreed. It's just like, we're not playing against them yet. No, they, they want to win, they're cheating, you guys can't stop them cheating. They're also sponsored by the guy that owns the place. So they have so much paint, they just, that's all they did. <laughs> right? That's all he did was fucking lay down paint. This wasn't this wasn't fun. This wasn't you know let's go and get in stealth and you know get the guy and have some skill. Right. Had nothing to do with skill. Yeah. Had to do with we want to win. And so we just went. that was the last time I played. I played one game of outdoor actually when I came out here. No, it wasn't when I was out here yet. One game of outdoor. And outdoor was fun. It's a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> Running through the bush. Whereas, I mean, in there you had lots of corners and stuff yeah. like that. And so it was more of a stealth game than it was a, right. uh, really having to run and fire. But, uh, no, it was, I, I really enjoyed it. I always did. And it was really too bad. But, I mean, it sort of went that way. It, the only thing that hasn't done that yet is badminton, and I'm not assuming that it will. Right? Is But I did that with volleyball. I joined the volleyball team. I remember you telling me about that. Oh. Right? I'm sure you told me about the paint one, too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you didn't know me. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> I thought you were telling me. Anyway. But yeah, the volleyball one. And it's just like either you don't, they're not serious enough or they're too serious. Mm -hmm. They just have to. You know, it's like, can't we play really well and have fun? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. Isn't that the whole point of this? <laughs> oh. You're looking at going out to Babington again? Um, actually, I was last week. Well, not last week, the week before. I was, I was going to go last week. I'm going to go this week. Um, Henderson Rec. But, um... You were talking about Cedar Hills. Yeah, Cedar Sunday. Hill. Yeah, yeah. See, Cedar Hill's back open. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, they, were, they, they opened on the 8th, so... You just have to remember to get up and call for some yeah, reason, right? <laughs> but, um, no, I played at Henderson and I played intermediate to high level. Mm -hmm. I did really well. I was really surprised. Actually, I told you about it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you get your racket fixed? Or yeah. Racket? yeah I get, no, I got it restrung. <laughs> <laughs> and they charged me just for the string. Oh, well, we can't, blah, blah, blah. I, I won't charge you for the labor. <laughs> I took two hits with it. No. It was a new racket. I bought it. You can't just string it. <laughs> yeah. No, still have to pay for this price. Hmm. Well, and it was a young guy, right? I mean, if it was... I there, There's one guy there, the, the older guy. Yeah. 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 Okay, that he probably would have just said, hey, no problem with this string. Yeah. The, the young guy. No, no, no. 